Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here on this super bright but awesome summer day. Guys, today we're gonna be talking about why HGH pre-workout, why it's the big secret and what you need to know in terms of bodybuilding, fitness, athletics. So guys, stay tuned. You're gonna to wanna to watch this to the end. Here we go. All right, guys, what's up? Seth Spartan here. So today we're going to be talking about HGH pre-workout, the big secret. And we're going to compare just a little bit HGH pre-workout versus post-workout. Now, when just taking this into account, all things with, without even going into the cons yet, all right, from just taking this from muscle mass, strength, performance, and also fat loss, all right? Muscle mass, strength, performance, and fat loss perspective without looking at any of the cons. All day, every single day, HGH pre-workout is superior for those four things, period. Regardless what anybody else says, uh, and I can back this, uh, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people uh, that have had experience talking about this in the comments, or I hope so, uh, that are gonna verify what I'm saying, but just from a personal experience, pre-workout all day, every day. Let's get into let's get into all, uh, real quick, the scientific, the medical studies, all right? So, without a doubt, in the medical literature, this is proven, period. No, no debate needed, guys. High levels of HGH, Okay, high levels of HGH or higher levels of HGH in the bloodstream during during workout. Okay, during workout increases performance, stamina, and endurance. Okay, period. So if we're talking about HGH pre versus post workout from a medical perspective, you know, and this was mainly done for, I assume the backing was for sports, all right? Everybody wanted to know how this is gonna impact sports in terms of PD usage in sports and all of this stuff, all right? So in terms of performance, stamina, endurance, having high HGH levels in the blood, you're gonna have better performance, stamina, endurance, you're gonna be able to push longer, push harder, and just train uh, better or perform better in whatever sport. That's from a medical side. Now in terms of, um, so that's period, that's covered. So in terms of just that alone, from a medical side, HGH gives a huge uh, performance bump when taken pre-workout versus what post-workout, because obviously uh, it's no longer in the bloodstream, okay? Now, and, and that's, you know, obviously if you take it uh, post-workout, you're still gonna get a lot of recovery benefits, but in terms of those, those things I just discussed, pre-workout all day every day now let's talk about real quick because i want to get to the blunt the gist of the video why hgh is the big pre-workout secret i'm going to get to that in just a second but one more thing i want to discuss with you guys i have noticed for myself personally taking hgh or hgh peptides again uh, you know, I work for Prometheus HRT, testosterone hormone replacement clinic. They do testosterone, HGH replacement, everything, A to Z, okay? Best, one of the best clinics in the world. That's that's my experience. You guys can uh, think whatever you want. Having said that, having said all that, um, this is a big secret that I have found out for myself, okay? If I take my HGH replacement, okay? Right now I'm prescribed uh, Ipamorel and CJC 1295 DAC combo. Uh, 200 micrograms uh, each, okay? I can increase that, talk to my doctor, whatever. But long story short, when I take my HGH peptides, my HGH uh, replacement pre-workout versus post-workout, and um, especially fasted, because it's gonna make you release even more HGH, but regardless whether it's HGH or HGH peptides, if I take either of those pre-workout versus post-workout, I notice, guys, this huge, this one huge important thing. Pay attention, here it is. I am able to perform my exercises much stronger, much more efficiently, able to contract my muscles better, period, okay? So 
summing this up with the biggest point, and this is the big secret that I want to give you guys, eight, taking HGH pre-workout or even HGH peptides pre-workout, uh, for myself, personally, after doing this you know, for a long time, I've noticed that I am able to contract my muscles better. I'm able to contract better. I don't have those bad sets anymore. Okay, so there is, I, you know, I don't know why this is. I don't know how it works. Uh, I, you know, the scientific mechanism, I would have to dig into that a bit and maybe I'll have to make another video on that in the future. But in terms of, you know, pre versus post, I've noticed I'm able, whether I'm squatting, whether I'm curling, whether I'm benching, each rep is way better. I'm able to contract much better, okay? So maybe in, in sports, we already know from, again, the medical studies in sports, high HGH levels in the bloodstream, more endurance, more stamina, more, more performance. So it's likely that there is a direct involvement uh, in, in the muscle tissue, okay? So anyways, so one thing I want to I wanna cover some of the cons real quick, all right? So in terms of, well, I want to talk, I guess I should finish talking about muscle mass. So taking HGH, human growth hormone, pre-workout, another reason this is the big secret is due to what? When you're training, whatever body part you're training or training in general, what happens? The blood, your brain shifts blood flow, pushes out blood to the muscles. You have increased blood flow to the muscles and also fat tissue, okay? When you're training, what is the benefit of that? If you take your HGH or HGH peptides pre-workout, they are getting absolutely slammed, saturated, slammed with the HGH you took pre-workout. Okay, you don't have this uh, post-workout. Okay, you just you don't have this. Now, in a natural person who's not taking anything, when you're training hard, you release HGH. Uh, you know, um, just from that naturally, but. Uh, the benefit to taking a pre-workout is you're going to have a super high level continually uh, while you're training, and it's going to, you know, be much greater than obviously than what you were getting uh, taking this um, uh, post or ta uh, not taking anything, whether uh, if you weren't taking anything, if you were natural. So, so in terms of muscle gain, huge performance. In terms of muscle mass, again, like I said, much more advantageous. HGH pre-workout versus post-workout because you're slamming uh, the HGH into the muscle and fat tissue. So for muscle mass, strength, performance, stamina, fat loss, everything, pre-workout is the way to go. Now there's two cons. I'm, I I gotta keep everything, I should end this video soon, as, as soon as I can. But I wanna cover this too, this is important. There are two cons, things to consider, when taking HGH or HGH peptides pre-workout, okay? Even though that's by far, hands down, the best way to take it for bodybuilding, fitness, athletics, for all the reasons I described, okay? What's our, what are the two cons? Number one, lethargy, okay? So if, if anybody has, has done this before, you know, uh, you know, and I assume there's, there's plenty of people too uh, that, that have done this, um, you know, that also do HG, some sort of form of HGH replacement. If you take your HGH replacement, whether synthetic or peptides, pre-workout, Guess what happens? The higher your HGH levels get, the more lethargy you feel. Okay, so there is there is a negative to this. So um, on one side, better muscle gain, better strength, better performance, better everything. Basically, yeah, better everything. But the higher you push your HGH level, either with synthetic or peptides, what's going to happen? The more lethargic, the more tired you're going to feel during your workout. Now, you know, can you just take a little bit more caffeine or, you know, even without it, is it still worth it? Absolutely. I, and, you know, I've been testing this out because usually what I've been doing or what I've been doing for the bulk of the real 10% body fat series, hopefully been following that. I show you guys how to get down to a real actual 10%, nutri everything that goes into it, nutrition, training, hormones, lifestyle, everything. But um, one thing you guys got to note is that uh, I've been doing basically my HGH replacement post-workout. Okay, post workout up until this point, uh, and it's only been recently, very recently, I've switched to doing a pre workout again. And the main reason was really uh, twofold. We talked about one of it the lethargy. Okay, the lethargy is one thing, but it still outweighs lethargy. Let's talk about the second reason why, uh, the second con why you, why you might want to think twice about doing HGH pre workout, even though it's 
superior in every single way in terms of uh, everything that goes into bodybuilding, fitness, athletics. What's the second con? You will stop your natural production. You won't have those natural pulses. Uh, you know, if you take your HGH pre-workout versus what? Post-workout. What do I mean by that? Let's take HGH peptides, for example. If I take my HGH peptides pre-workout, I'm going to be disrupting my natural pulses, even though I'm causing a, a massive, huge pulse this is, that's going to last up to an hour and a half, okay? All right? That's, how, that's just how it works, unfortunately, because you're stimulating that pituitary. And um, so that's one thing. And then the second thing is the second reason uh, you might want not want to take it pre-workout or one other reason would be, uh, you know, let's say let's say um, you're doing HGH peptides. Well, doesn't it make sense to get all, get all the natural pulses from taking it post-workout? So if I take HGH replacement post-workout, either peptides or HGH replacement, uh, I can get all the I can train hard, get all the natural pulses and then I can take my HGH replacement when I get home and then get a big pulse right. So all together, you're gonna get, what? More HGH release. Now, you have to weigh that. You have to weigh the lethargy and more total HGH release. Uh, again, by the, getting those natural pulses, uh, you have to weigh, the, weigh that against pre versus post. And you know, ultimately what I've been finding, both are good, both are good, but ultimately what I've been finding is, honestly guys, taking your HGH replacement pre-workout as opposed to post-workout the gains the benefit the muscle mass the strength the performance the fat loss the everything is still weighs out on top still weighs out on top even though you're going to have a little bit less uh h total hgh release uh because of those natural pulses that you normally would get working out and this is just what i found okay so you know this is this is so this is a great subject uh, it's a great thing to think about but Laying aside those two cons, uh, the two cons being lethargy and then a little bit less total HGH because you don't get those natural pulses as you normally would from training hard by itself. Uh, so laying aside those those two things, um, you know, no, without any of the cons, HGH pre-workout is by far superior in the ultimate, the huge ultimate secret in terms of muscle mass, strength, uh, performance, stamina, endurance, fat loss. Guys, I'm Seth Spartan. Stay safe, stay healthy. Keep the questions coming. We're going to try to do a Q&A every week because there's a lot of people that, that have unanswered questions. Uh, so I'll keep you guys posted with that. But I'm Seth Spartan. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy the beautiful day. And we are out of here.